Alright, so today we're going to be going through the integrating factor method for solving first order differential equations. Um, so first, I'd like to go through the procedure of how it's done. Um, then I'll go through a proof and then an example. So just a quick summary of the method if that's what you're looking for. So step one, find integrating factor. using this formula, e to the integral of px dx. Step two, multiply equation by this factor. Step three, simplify left-hand side. To the product rule. So it goes to d dx of i, so first function of x, times y, another function of x. And four, integrate both sides with respect to x. And finally, rearrange for y. Now this might not make sense to some of you, but if a quick summary is what you're looking for, you can stop the video here. Now let's go into a more detailed explanation of the procedure. So before I go through the proof of why it actually is the way it is, I want you to be comfortable with the procedure of how it's done. So let's say you have a differential equation of this format. By the way, this video assumes that you're comfortable with uh, separation of variables and differential equations. So if you're not, please go, go, go do your research and then look at this. So you have an equation of this form, dy dx plus some function of x times y equals just some function of x. All right. This is the format that tells you that, okay, I'm going to have to use the integrating factor method. All right, so the first step is find the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is e to the power of the integral of px with respect to dx. And actually, this is the reason that we care about formats and stuff, because we want the px to be this equation. You have to use this equation. You have to put it in a form where you have dy dx plus some function of x, it could be like x squared plus 2, brackets times y equal to some function of just x. We don't want any y's over here. This is a no y zone. We want dy dx plus some function of x times y equals qx. So that's the integrating factor. So you get the equation, you substitute this equation to here, you work it out, you find the integrating factor, and let's call it ix. All right, we'll do it in a general form to start with. Step two is multiply through by ix. So i dy dx plus i pxy equals i q x. And now because, it is exactly because we've, we've multiplied, because someone went ahead and worked it out, and he worked out that if you multiply this, no, sorry, if you multiply this equation by i, it's going to be the same as the starting point, like the before of the product rule. So basically, because we multiplied it by y, this gives us the right to say that, okay, so this can be simplified to d dx of i x times y equals i q x. And you see, the reason you want to do that is because your goal, your objective here is to rearrange 
uh, this equation to have just y on the left-hand side. We want an expression in terms of y. That's the whole point of, of solving differential equations. You take an equation that has uh, an expression for how y change, changes with x, and you want to just find y. Um, so by doing this, this gets you one step closer to finding y, because look, if we then integrate both sides, you know how uh, inverse functions cancel with each other. Like if I have, quick side note, if I have e to the lin 2, the inverse functions cancel each other out, and that leaves me with just 2. It's same for integral of d dx. These two will cancel, and then whatever is inside is left. And we want what's inside. We want to get this on its own. Uh, because if you see up here, it's not on its own. Up here, we have a y in there. How, how am I supposed to rearrange the equation for that? Well, what I want is to integrate it. So I can just have the y. Um, all right, so we just have the y by integrating. So we integrate both sides, d, dx, ix times y equals i, q, x. It's kind of like, think of it kind of like as reverse engineering. And oop, look at that. Would you look at that? They cancel. And you're left with ix times y equals i, q, x. All right, and now, oh, equals integral of i, q, x. Um, how to solve this depends on what the q, x is. Like, if it's a lin function, you're going to use the lin equation. If it's a log, you're going to use the log. Like, you get the gist. It, it can vary in difficulty, but the point is, the final solution will be the integral of whatever was on that side. Like, if we look back, at our original equation, the final solution is going to be uh, the integral of qx times i, okay, divided by divided by i x, and we have our y. <laughs>